Welcome to the Bing Bang Tour. Stage two today from Blackenberger to Ardoi. Well, after the rain of yesterday, it was a sunshine start again today as we headed for uh, Blankenberger to Ardoi. Little loop at the top of the day. And indeed, uh, then sailing past Brugge um, in the region of Bruges, I might add, heading inevitably towards Ardoi and the circuit that's going to cause a challenge, especially if it turns out to be wet by the time we get there. Uh, there it is. Super 8 checkpoint in the Golden Kilometre. The Golden Kilometre on this day coming 26 and a half kilometres from the line. Yesterday it was very tight towards the end, about 8 kilometres to go. Uh, some dark skies then gathering, but uh, every single dark cloud has a silver lining. And for these guys, it's the fact that they've got some good pace men yet again in the break. Indeed, they're going to have some fun. Joseph Cherney, no slouch, and he's got five compadres here. Yes, a compatriot can be somebody who shares your work, not necessarily your nationality. Go look it up. Minute and 17 is your gap, and uh, Bora doing much of the legwork today. They've kind of got to, really. Sam Bennett, was there a bit too much bullying from him yesterday? Um, it, uh, uh, you know, you, you can't have clinical sprinting. It just wouldn't be sprinty if it was, but uh, he certainly made a nuisance of himself. He did, but um, if you do that with a, a rider that kind of retaliates, that's when you get the problem. Um, so the riders that he, he used his shoulders on kind of moved and, and, and slipped back and uh, allowed Sam the, the uh, movement to the, towards the front. And uh, we've had another touch of wheels a little bit further back. And as you can see, everyone's OK, but it can hobble you. And Neuhaus, who would have been one of those we'd be talking about. He had a crash yesterday. He's had another one today. Uh, that's not good for him. This is it here in the right-hand turn. Just a, a bit of a, a squeeze uh, happened pretty much in the middle of the, the peloton there. Indeed. Um, seeing if it's reflected onto the right-hand side of the road, they kind of uh, shuffled their way through it. Meanwhile, should we have a golden killer? Yeah, they're battling for it here. Uh, Sprenger um, looks to be taking the, uh, the, the maximum seconds here. Maybe Hello. just... No, throw Maybe. on the line. I think that uh, Standard got in there. Now, the golden kilometre, there's another sprint coming up in a few moments' time. Three crammed within one kilometre, so they'll go again. This is fantastic. Uh, they're probably going for it, and Cherney wants some of this as well. Now, these guys could be battling for the GC. He's gone smooth, which means he's using the, uh, uh, the old cycle lane here. He's going to take the next one all on his uh, Jack Jones, and I think he may well take the third and final one at the very end of it. Clever stuff. Um, kept his powder dry, but uh, Stannard still hasn't finished. He wants some afters as well. This is great. Uh, bonus seconds being offered up royally here, so he gets uh, a few more. Uh, three, two, and one at each one of these intermediate sprints. That's such a long advantage. I think Cherney's going to have his fun here. I'm kind of... Um not understanding what's uh, what's going on here um, because they, they were pushing hard uh, it came down to 57 seconds and, and they moved up uh, over a minute again and now they're wasting a lot of energy battling for these uh, seconds when I don't think they're going to stay away but they would have stood a, a better chance of staying away um, I think they're battling for these seconds because the likes of uh, Cherney is actually thinking of the overall here um, not necessarily Planker, but I think Cherney is. And I think probably Sprengers as well has some belief. Maybe misguided, but um, you don't know how many shredded wheat they had this morning. And Cherney is clearly up for it. Sprengers shakes the head, possibly rueful of the words of Brian Smith, still echoing round his brain. If he hadn't gone for that golden kilo, indeed, if they hadn't wrestled each other, what might have been? Um, well, probably another 10 seconds, but uh, even at this distance, not going to be enough. Just look how much... Everyone wants this. It's going to tee up for a grandstand finish. It's a certainty. Now you can just see that the riders are starting to grimace a little bit up this uh, kind of motorway, freeway bridge. Um, very difficult to move up when uh, Jus van Emden is uh, putting big power down. But just looking a little bit further down, we can see uh, Dylan Grunewig is sitting a little bit further back. Movement in the left-hand side from Astana. Dylan Grunewig has been moved up by uh, Tunison, but... Glued to the wheel of Grunewig and is the green jersey and leader Sam Bennett. Yep, absolutely. And so as you get this view, you can see Sam Bennett just starting to skirmish. Lots of Zadal also interested here. Uh, Tim Valens will want to preserve his position overall. UAE, though, uh, starting to muster. And this is for Jesper Philps. And as we mentioned, Roberto Ferrari is up here. Asadar's coming up to uh, uh, to join the frame. Is it Ballerini who's going to have a dig? Let's wait and see. 2.4 kilometres to go. 
So this is the Flam Rouge essentially to get us to that sequence of uh, of corners that we have to deal with and everyone wanting a bit of prime real estate up front it's fractured a little bit i'm afraid grunewagen you can see him just uh, struggling to uh, to make some moves up along the barriers uh, locked into that position that'll suit some others uh, if he manages to find himself uh, out of sorts as far as his team is concerned sam bennett looks like he's lost the wheel off grunewagen and it's set van mark is trying to stay with him van mark's not in the best position for uh, uh, to go for an early one here as the sequence comes towards us trek segafredo doing a, a very good job they did this last year they've got pedersen up there they've got the uh, red jersey of uh, Tynes. just watch the red jersey of Tynes. he may decide to go along here into this chicane just watch out the teammates round about him. There's the first left-hander and he's certainly a, a wise to the possibility, Brian. And indeed, it's starting to cause some worry. Sam Bennett suddenly realises that this is what's happening. Here we are as your right-hander. Three wide coming into it. Sam Bennett squeezed against the barriers as they take a, uh, a, a that right-hander, then that left. And now it starts to even out. And this is where the pure sprinters are going to have their fun if they're in a decent position, Brian. Well, no cheeky move at the moment, but still uh, Toyne's in, in a very good place. They've got uh, Pedersen just behind. Pedersen will come up and, and try and help He's trying to kind of push and shove, but uh, perfect lead out here for Trek Sager for still early. Sam Bennett just following the wheels of uh, Groenewegen. Groenewegen jinks over to the right hand side. Sam Bennett making use of himself, goes centre of the road, and in fact, uh, I think he's going to dispense with them. Uh, they uh, they start to crank it up. Turnison picks it up. There is Groenewegen in the yellow. It's turns that's gone. Turns has gone for it in the red jersey, but just tucked in behind the yellow and black indeed of Lotto uh, Yumbo Visma here. Uh, let's wait and see if they can release. There he is. Is he going to get his time this? Sam, it's time for turns. He's gone. And right now it's Turnison that's going to take it up. He's going for this. Harvison's also tucked in for Ineos. But there's Sam Bennett as well. Who else is going to come and uh, join the fun? UAE also wants a piece of this with Philpson who goes very, very long. He goes early. Philpson has a dig, but here comes Sam Bennett. No place for Gronenbegen. It's Sam Bennett. Makes it back-to-back -back wins here. Absolutely superb by the Irishman. Kept his cool. Waited to pour on the power. And when required to do so, he had plenty in reserve. Yeah, it was Tynes that was leading out. He's leading out Pedersen, but Pedersen was kind of being pushed out here by uh, Grunewig and Halverson was there, um, Hodge, um, but Tunison opens up. Pedersen was pushed out of it at this time, and uh, you can just see that Hodge comes up the, the left hand side. Uh, a great move here by the uh, UE rider, I think it's uh, Philipson that goes there, but. He was the, the rider that um, Sam Bennett uh, just rode off here, and uh, Hodge had pretty much no way to go, and that's what Hodge was annoyed about there, that uh, Grunewigen kind of moved over on him. Hodge uh, uh, upset by the move, but uh, Sam Bennett it was that took the day ahead of Jesper Philipsen from UAE. Dylan Grunewigen given third place here ahead of Alverson. Hodge in fifth. That's your top five. Capio, Bauhaus, Mace, Demar, and Dupont, your top ten. Turns, Philipsen finding themselves 14 seconds adrift. Sam Bennett leads at the moment. Uh, he'll have another sprinting day tomorrow to uh, add to his series of scalps, but uh, he's unbeaten so far. Yeah, I uh, can't believe it. Uh, after 70k, my legs weren't that great, so uh, I didn't expect to, to really get a result today, but um, here at the last 10k, you know, the, the guys looked after me so well all day kept me at the front and I think that I was saving so much there and others were losing so much at the back that uh, in the end I had enough legs to, to, yeah, to get the win but um, yeah, I'm delighted with that. I, I really didn't think I could get a second win here. We saw Jumbo Visma doing a great effort in the last kilometres. Um, how come you are the fastest in this peloton? Um, I don't know. I don't think I'm the fastest here, but it doesn't matter because I just have to get to the line first, so um, I don't worry about that. <laughs> Although it seemed very easy for you. It doesn't feel easy. <laughs> you didn't have to wait long for your second victory in a row in the Irish champion jersey. Um, what are your uh, next goals? Um, I'm getting greedy, so I'd like one more stage here. Um, but yeah, still, we're, we're after having a great tour so far here. So yeah, just um, get through this race in good shape and uh, look forward to the Volta. Do you already have a stage in mind? Here? Whatever comes up. I'll just take it as it comes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Cheers.